Hello everyone, N7 here, and this is going to be a quick video on showing how to get Platinum for um, the Guardian games, which just released today. Uh, you can easily get Platinum with just running with randoms, but um, if you do this build here, you should be able to carry your team and get to there. So, um, champions are overload and unstoppable, so I'll just use the one I got from completing a quest for Guardian games is unstoppable, scout, easy. And then I use the funnel web, which is avoid SMG. The reason is I'll go into a little bit more detail there. And then my retrofit for there. Uh, subclass is void. You don't have to be a warlock. You can do hunter, Titan by a highly suggest going void. And I'll be going into details of why just right now. So if we go into our current um, season of defiance and Vanguard medals. So you may have been getting this before Guardian of the Games dropped and then wondering what is this for those who are new. When you get these type of medals, this will increase your score during the the run. And you'll see that when in, once we go into the video here. But that here's the idea is that you, the higher um, challenge, um, like this heavy frenzy here, is a higher score versus a heavy um, spree here. So that's why I'm using some heavy in the beginning until I run out. And um, I'm going into void because uh, let's see here. I get a few skirmishes, um, predictive frenzy. Um, let's see here. Uh, I could do demolitionist since I'm using void. I'm getting so many grenades back. That also helps. And if you notice, the color is different as well. There will be light is also a good one to go after as well. Um, let's see here. You could go with arc, but I'm just finding that void is a little bit easier, especially with the mods for getting orbs of power and just becoming volatile. Very easier. Um, very easy to do so. Uh, so that there's a void spree right there. You could do solar, whatnot, but um, void rampage, void frenzy. Those are a little bit easier to come by. All right. Now, important thing is when you come to champions, you'll see that I sort of pause and do a quick emote. Because these two here, Insult to Injury and Finishing Touch, these are sort of your bread and butter for champions. There's not many in the st um, strike, but or nightfall. But if you can um, squeeze one in before your teammates kill them, just do a quick emote and then execute. You'll get a lot of points and you'll see that in the run. And um, that should be it. But yeah, I, I highly suggest running a void build. Doesn't matter what class, um, unstop, overload, uh, LMG and then um, I'm using Nasdraq Sin, but actually I would be thinking that you might want to go with um, one of the um, let's see here I'm trying to make this part of the video very quick uh, Aeon Gauntlets because it will give you heavy ammo for your team but again that's more if you're going coordinated and trying to get a high score but yeah you should be easily able to get platinum with these strats so just have fun and the next up will be the full run so if you were just here to get the strat uh, um see you later but if you want to see what the run is like go ahead and see next shifting their attention to the cloud arc that's likely why neo Muna's defense systems are reading offline but i bet those vex pumps are also poking too close to the city's internals
Is that a Taken Blight? The Shadow Legion are forcing Taken into that Vex pocket. The VexNet uses similar gateways as the Cloud Arc, which means they could infiltrate the network and gain access to the Veil. Taken are relentless, especially under the Witness's control. We need to get in there and stop them. portal is clear. Let's follow those taken and remove them from the system. Hey, Guardian? I'm not sure just how much damage these taken can do, but hopefully we can beat them to the punch. The Cloud Arc is built on the energy field produced by the Veil. It's resilient, but not impenetrable. A backdoor wouldn't be impossible. Maybe getting rid of whatever is at the center of this will also help our Vex problem. Maybe. There's got to be a way to destroy these blights. We can't let more of them form.
allies for Kallus, infesting any space they're found in. If we'd waited any longer, this would have been much worse. Yeah. I don't even want to think about that. This is the access point. Let's get rid of that Taken before it opens a path into the Cloud Ark. 